Hi, so this was the third question in bi-weekly challenge 32 of Fleet Code. Uh, we are going to do a recap of the solution which got some which got accepted. Now, what they're trying to say is we have to tell whether a given string of parentheses is valid or not. This is a very common question, but they have a little twist to it. So generally what it says is this is a op uh, this is an opening bracket, this is a closing bracket, and you just tell whether it's valid or not. But in this case, what they say is that um, opening bracket is just one, but closing brackets needs to be two of these for it to close. So given a parenthesis string which contains only these characters, left parenthesis is this, and the corresponding right parenthesis for this left parenthesis is a double closing parenthesis. And this must go, the left one must go before the right one, and they give a few examples. So everything's same, just that instead of one closing brackets, we need two closing brackets for every opening bracket. And that does make a question a little bit tricky and it does change the answer a little. So what we're trying, what we're doing here is uh, stlen is basically a stack length. Now we're not making a stack because we only need to keep track of the number of opening brackets. So all we need is just an integer to denote that. And uh, we're gonna store the answer and i. All right, sorry, my bad. So we don't have to tell just the, uh, just whether it's valid or not. We have to make the string valid by adding x number of characters and we have to tell that minimum x number of characters that's, that is needed. All right. All right, so uh, that's why we initialize it by zero because we're not making any changes right now. If it's valid, then the answer is zero itself. If it's not valid, we need to figure out the number of characters needed to make it valid. All right, cool. So now, um, i is zero, which is the uh, variable we're using to iterate over s. And we iterate till, it's, till we reach the end. And what we do is we check whether it's opening bracket at the current index that we're looking at. If it is, then we set st as opening. Uh, if it's not, then it must be a closing bracket because those are the only two characters which are allowed in this string. Now, if it's a closing bracket, then definitely our uh, symbol would be two closing brackets for it to be valid, right? Because Technically, in the string, it can be a closing and an opening, closing and a closing. The, those are the two options. But if we need to make it valid, and for it to be valid, it, the symbol must be two closing brackets. If it's a closing and an opening, that means that we need to compulsorily in, uh, insert a closing bracket there. All right? So what we do is uh, we check if i plus one is less than length of s, so uh, that we still have one more character in our string because it can be that this is the very last character, right? So if this is the last character, if i plus one is length of s, which is that we don't have more characters, or s plus s of i plus one is a opening bracket, so either this is a closing and end of string or it's a closing and open bracket then we need answer plus equal to one so then we need to insert a closing bracket to make it valid otherwise it means that there are two closing brackets so we just increase i plus equal to one because we've also read the next character so that's all what this part does and uh, this just i um, increases i by one because we want to keep looping forward to the next element so this is for the next iteration now we check um, is our current symbol a open or a close if it's a open then we do stlen plus one so we are adding the opening bracket to the stack if it's not then what we do is we check whether we have something in the stack or not so uh, as we are adding only the opening brackets to the stack, we can just check the stack length. So if we already have any opening bracket, now, all right, so if it's an opening bracket, then we just insert it, increase the stack length, right? Else means that we have two closing brackets. So we got the symbol we currently processing is a closing bracket set. Now, we have a closing bracket set with that we need to process. If we have something in the stack that means we have opening bracket that we saw before it and we've not removed it so if we have that we just remove one opening bracket 
and continue. If not, then we need to in increase answer by one. Why? Because we, we encountered a closing sequence, but we don't have any opening sequence currently present in our whatever we've processed. All of them which were there have been already closed. So we don't have an opening sequence corresponding to this closing sequence and that's why we need to insert an opening sequence. Where you insert it doesn't really matter and we don't have to give the balance string. We just need to tell the number of characters changed. So that's why we increase the answer by one because opening sequence requires just one character. And at the end, what we do is uh, we check the stack length. Now, we've processed the whole string, but there still might be some characters which are left open. With some sequences which we encounter which were open have not been closed. We need to close all of them. A closing sequence requires two characters, which is two closing brackets. So we add st length, which is the number of open brackets we've encountered, which have not been closed till the end of the string. We take that number, multiply by two, add two answers, and at the end we return the answer. So that's all. Uh, giving a quick recap of all what I've said in the past, we are maintaining a stack, which can, and by stack we're just maintaining an integer because we don't need anything else. We are maintaining the number of open opening brackets we've opening sequence, I'd say, or brackets anything because closing brackets two of them combine one so that i can call as opening se closing sequence and opening sequence right all right so um st length we are uh, taking a stack length which is the number of open opening sequences which we have encountered till now which have not been closed we use that and we keep ensuring that uh the we read the string in terms of uh, opening and a closing sequence. If it's not that, we insert characters to make it a valid opening and a closing sequence. After we do that, we check whether the encounter token is an opening sequence or a closing sequence. If it's an opening sequence, we just increase the number of open, opened, uh, opening sequence, number of not closed opening sequences that we've encountered. And if it's a closing sequence, we see if we can get an opening sequence to close. If not, we add an opening sequence. So that's the whole idea. And I hope you understand it. If there is any confusion at all, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll make sure to respond to it and clear it up. All right, see you. I'll also check the editorial of this and make a video. Uh, you should check it out to find a cleaner or a shorter or a better complexity solution. Bye-bye.